Here's an example of how to use induction uh, in a bogus way. So I'm going to prove that all horses have the same color. I mean, obviously this is false, so I'm going to be using proof by induction illegally somewhere. Uh, uh, some step will be wrong. Let's see if you can figure out where it is. Okay, so P of N is going to be in any collection of n horses they are all the same color okay in any collection of n horses they are all the same color so I'm going to prove to you that for all n p of n is true What's the first step? The base case. Well, I should say, for all n greater than or equal to 1. So the base case is p of 1. p of 1 says, in any collection of one horse, they're all the same color. Well, that's true. If you have just one horse, then a collection of just one horse, then yes, every horse in that collection has the same color. The only one horse. Okay. Great. Now, let's assume P of 1, uh, excuse me, let's assume uh, P of N and prove P of N plus 1. So we need to show that P of N implies P of N plus 1. So the first step is assume P of N. Okay, and now we need to prove P of n plus 1. So let's assume we're given some arbitrary collection of n plus 1 horses. I'm going to write them out for you here, step 3. H1, H2, H3, dot dot, HN, HN plus 1. These are all the horses, all N plus 1 of them. Okay, now, let's look at these first N horses. Okay? So, um, since we assume that P of N is true, what does P of N say? P of N says that in any collection of N horses, they're all the same color. So by our inductive hypothesis, H1 through HN all have to be the same color. So I'm just going to call that color C. Okay. H1 through HN, they're all the same color C. Great. Now I'm going to look at the collection of horses H2 through HN plus 1. And by our inductive hypothesis, they must all have the same color because H2 through HN plus 1, that's another collection of N horses. So they all have the exact same color. I'll call it C prime. But look, there are some horses that are in the collection H1 through HN, and they're also in the collection H2 through HN plus 1. So this implies that C must equal C prime. I mean, if you're telling me that a horse in H1 through HN has color C, and that same horse has color C prime because it's in H2 through HN plus 1, well, then C must equal C prime. You, maybe some people are thinking, oh, a horse can have two different colors. No. Every horse has only one color. So again, H1 through HN, that's a collection of N horses, it has color C. H2 through HN plus 1, that's a collection of N, horse, N plus 1 horses, N horses, so it has color C prime by the inductive hypothesis. There are some horses that are in H1 through HN and H2 through HN plus 1. So any horse in their intersection has color C and C prime. Since each horse can only take on a one color, that means that C equals C prime. And this implies that H1 through HN plus 1 are all the same color. 
because we said this implies C equals C prime. So all these horses have the same color. All these horses have the same color. They all have the same color. C, C prime are the same color. So they all have the same color. So we've proved that every horse has the same color. I'll tell you in class where the mistake is.